Jenny got it. Then stupid Vicky got it. And I tried everything to get my period. Oh, Nothing. Why? So, I faked it. Yeah, I got it. It's so good. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> They bought it. Hey, Katie. What's this? What do you think it is? I'm on my ladies' days. What do I think it is? Ruby Licious nail polish. That's correct, Ma. Shit. We're throwing you a first moon party. Oh, God. A first moon party. party. First moon party. No, oh, it's one thing to lie to me, but to take that tone, it's on. Go bomb. Hi. Do you make vagina cakes? Hello? Grandpa, hey, nice to see you. Oh, my God. You're so grown up. Like grandpa. So grown up. You're bleeding. Oh, God. How embarrassing. There she is. Hey, I got you the super pack. Coffee? These are coffee filters. This yeah, is too close to home. You like <laughs> I just didn't expect my mom to be such a freak. Pin the pad on the period. Oh, the pad on the period? Seriously? Do you know how hard it is to find a uterus pinata? Oh, God. I used to like marshmallows. Who does this? <laughs> when things couldn't get worse? Yes, it could. They just got worse. My dad showed up. What are you doing? You're missing the magician. You need to stop this. What are you talking about? This party is a hit. Your grandpa is bobbing for ovaries like a champ. Bobbing for what? I faked it. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you should open this first. Period starter kit. Aren't you going to ground me for wine? Why do you think I threw you the first moon party? Periods don't have glitter in them. Oh, that's wild. Hello, Flo, the gift before the gift. Sometimes you just gotta wait. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have had something like that when I was that age. Nobody even talked about it. I, did, I thought I was dying. Well, what questions could you ask me now? So what was that? They were, to me, it was like a comedy about being on the rag, right? Girls that did the moment of truth. This company called Hello Flow selling all the various accoutrements to a young tweener's first menstrual cycle. They were commercials for getting the pack, so you had knowledge and power for getting your period. I have really never heard of a girl celebrating a, a, a period. That doesn't happen to guys. <laughs> what did you think of that commercial? I thought it was fun, it was cute. I don't see any harm in it. I kind of like the fact that it was so open. If you're a guy, it's really funny. <laughs> I don't know about the girls. They're absolutely perfect. A thousand percent home run. Hopefully help little girls realize what's coming. Just wonderful. Do you feel it's okay or not okay to make commercials for periods like this? See, why not? If you're on the rag, you're on the rag, right? Heavens yes, we're not in the dark ages. It should be talked about, because if it wasn't in my day, and I was just petrified when I got my first period. Are you kidding? I think it's great. Let me tell you how many times I got stuck discussing this. As, as a middle school teacher, holy patoli, parents were not discussing this with their children. Are you comfortable discussing periods? Of course. Yes, period. Didn't bother me at all. I got three daughters. At my age? Yeah. Because I don't have them anymore. <laughs> no, and I had a girl, and, and I was really hoping, you know, Mom and, and my daughter would work that, that one out. <laughs> well, get ready, Rock, because we're going to talk all about periods right oh, now. Oh, <laughs> hot dog! How were periods discussed back when you were younger? Oh, they didn't. Oh, they, they, they would whisper. I wasn't taught about it. I wasn't taught about it at all. I had five brothers, guys. You know, we didn't know what girls were. Everything was very hush-hush. Even in school, when they talked about it, they put everything in a brown paper bag, and then you ran like hell, like, out of the classroom, and then the boys would chase you to see what's in the brown paper bag. Well, in the fifth grade, the girl saw a Disney movie, and it was very well done. And then you went home, and hopefully Mom talked to you a little bit more. Did you feel you were prepared? <laughs> no. No. No, because it wasn't something that really that you discussed. I think I remember calling my mom and saying, it's happening. She goes, you're a woman now. And that was the entire discussion. Well, what the hell does that mean? It was fine for me. I went home from school and said, I got it, Mom. Oh, well, come here. Let's take care of it. <laughs> oh, gosh, this feel? is going to go on the internet. <laughs> Commercials to this day on television 
always show things like blue liquid. They never actually show blood when discussing this, even to this day. I know. It's like it's okay to watch a movie with gore and blood and vampires, but don't show it in those commercials. Like, blue is such a calming color. Maybe because most of it is controlled by men and they're like, Oh, I'm not doing stuff about that, ew. That's funny, I hadn't really thought about that. But the guys were, they're always talking about erectile dysfunction. They don't mention penis a lot though, do they? Nope, nope, body parts. That's, I guess, the two body parts that everybody knows about. They really don't talk about them on, on TV openly. So back to the video, it has well over 25 million views. Wow. Why do you think it's gone so viral? Well, they've, they've never seen it before. It was well produced, it had humor. It's unique, it's the first of a kind. It's funny. Some kid tells their mother about this and the mother goes, oh my God, what a great way to, to, to initiate a conversation with my daughter on this. It shows just how incredible the social media is and uh, how incredibly powerful it is. So these were made by a very small business and instead of figuring out how to get a commercial on television, they put this out online and got millions of views. What do you think about the idea that companies can bypass television to advertise their products now? I think it's great. Why, you know, television is kind of getting to be uh, a little bit of a dinosaur, isn't it? That's just where the world is. Television is way, up, you know, has fallen, has fallen off the grid. The power of the internet, the power of YouTube. I'm beginning to feel that it hasn't even hit 25% of what it's going to be. Truth. So finally, if you were a young girl that needed this, or you had a daughter or a granddaughter around this age, would you look into this company? Stick to the store. No, I wouldn't bother. It's just silly. You mean having them mail her a package? Hi, granddaughter. Here's a gift from grandma. If I had a young girl that age, I'd show her this. Oh, absolutely. I think it's a wonderful idea. For a, a young 12-year-old, having this little private package coming every month is very simple. Well, I definitely would look into this. I, In fact, if I had someone ask me about it, I'd say, here, here, let's watch this. Let's watch this together. Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. Tomorrow, bonus footage will be coming out on the React channel, so make sure you check it out. Goodbye once again. I can't tell you what a wonderful, wonderful pleasure it is to be with you.